Well, good day, folks. Today we are back talking about the old grandma here. So stay tuned. So before we jump into this episode, I do want to give you guys a couple updates on some of the vehicles that we are actually driving. Uh, so one of them will be Grandma, the Panther platform, uh, but the other one is the Volkswagen Passat we dubbed the Grey Goose. Now all winter my wife has been driving this thing and not too many complaints other than it takes a while for it to heat up. Uh, and I'm not sure why that is. But having said that, this thing has been a tank through the snow and really has never left her stranded. But one of the things about this car is that it's a cheap car. It is probably something that we could sell on our lot for probably somewhere in the vicinity of $1,995 or $2,500. Bucks. It is tax season. So although I had anticipated on keeping this vehicle as a beater, well, when things are quiet at work, you sell what you can sell. So this car here, the O, the 2000 Volkswagen Passat wagon it is going to be going back on the lot and we'll be getting it cleaned up and freshened up for a sale, uh, hopefully right away. So having said that, let's head out to the shop and we're going to talk about Dale and Grandma. Hi, this is Bonnie. How can I help you today? Good morning, Bonnie. How are you? Wonderful. What can I do for you? Can I get the uh, five-piece French toast sticks, please? Is that everything? That's it. Okay, you're looking at 3.30. Please drive ahead. Thank you. You're welcome. She's always the chipper. So now that we've made it out to work here, I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on Project Dale here. As it sits right now, we're still waiting for an engine. It's been about three and a half weeks. I'm gonna call today and see if we can't get some answers. Hopefully, uh, we'll have that back in a timely fashion. My goal was to have the engine back, assembled, transmission rebuilt, and everything swapped out of the vehicle by the end of March. Well, we're halfway through the month, and as it sits right now, it's not looking like we're gonna get that far. But we did get a couple of things done. We got the door adjusted while we were here. So anybody who owns a square body or who has ever had a square body knows that these doors don't normally just close and you know latch real quickly. You gotta slam them. And uh, there are some kits out there that you can buy that replaces the actual latch down here. I may do that someday, but as it sits right now on Dale, the door actually closes pretty good. All the lines line up here, and we've got the gaps looking pretty good as well. We come to the back and I do have the bumper in place. And the only thing that I don't have hooked up is the license plate light. And the reason for that is because the wires were kind of already cut on the wiring harness. And I'm gonna have to put some new connectors on that uh, to make that work. So eventually we'll get the license plate light hooked up on Dale and then that will be done. We still have yet to tuck our bumpers. And what I mean by tucking is I want to draw the bumper in probably at least another inch, inch and a half into the body so that we can get rid of this big gaping hole here underneath the tailgate. And we'll come out front and we'll probably end up doing the same thing. There's not as much room to move back here because you've got the fender in the way, but I do want to take this bumper and tuck it in a little bit more to the body. And I'm not sure if you can see it or not because it's dark in here, uh, but the gap between here and this little panel down below is so narrow and up at the other end it's quite wide. So we're gonna to have to adjust that anyway uh, once we get everything kind of where we want to. So we may come in over the weekend and uh, maybe tinker away at that, seeing how Dale is still 
out here at the shop. So my intention with this video was initially to give you guys an update on the lighting system on Grandma. You'll know that a few videos back, and I'll put that link right up here, was I asked the question, did I make a mistake partnering with LastFit to replace all the exterior bulbs in Grandma? And the reason why I asked that question was because I was having some lighting issues. I was having some quick flash, hyper flash, uh, when I put my left hand signal light on, uh, and I noticed that the lights would click and dim and click and dim, and I thought that it was my lighting control module. I was assured by Ford that it wasn't. They claimed that if I took all the bulbs out, the LEDs, that would likely solve the problem. To date, they were correct. All the LED exterior bulbs were taken out except for the backup lights and the license plate lights. And I just happened to notice the other day, let me start it up and I'll show you. But as you can tell right now, my tail lights are on or my park lights as they say. But if you look up in here, I've got no license plate light. So that tells me that the last fit LED bulb that was up in there in the license plate has burnt out. So at this point, I would have to say that I have completely lost faith in the quality of last fit bulbs. Therefore, I'll likely be upgrading to something different. I want to prove that the last fit bulbs were the issue with my flickering and hyper flash issues, even on the bulbs that were hyper flash free. Therefore, by going with something different, I can say, well, these are a better quality bulb because they do not affect what's going on with the lighting system. Since I replaced all those bulbs, the flickers, the uh, hyper flash, all that is gone. And now my license plate bulb has burnt out. So I do have to replace that. I'll likely just replace it with a regular bulb, which I believe uh, is just a 194. But nevertheless, it seems to be a battle of lighting with this car. So guys, if you're out there and you're looking to replace your exterior bulbs on your Panther platform, this is an 04, uh, stay away from last fit bulbs just simply because they gave me a ton of issues. Constantly replacing bulbs, leading to hyper flash, leading to just pure aggravation. It's not fun taking all these light bulbs apart all the time and having to replace them. So make sure you spend the right money, do your research, look for good quality ones, and I hope to have in the near future a new lighting system to upgrade on Grandma. So because LastFit was a sponsor of some of those videos, I'm gonna be taking that off the windshield and I will no longer be endorsing LastFit. And just to give you guys a quick note about things going on around the lot, uh, this week it's like somebody kind of turned the tap on. We sold a vehicle, we've got a couple of irons in the fire, uh, we've actually bought a couple of cheaper vehicles. And as I mentioned earlier, this being tax season, we want to have a few cheap vehicles on the lot uh, for tax return reasons. People get their money back uh, and sometimes they're looking for two, three, four thousand dollar cars. So we will be having a few of those here very shortly. Uh, and as it sits, we kind of went through the lot. We reevaluated some of the pricing. Of course, in the new year, prices change because vehicles get older. Uh, so we did reduce the price on pretty much about two thirds of the lot to accommodate for uh, where we felt they should be in the marketplace uh, and based on what we have to offer for our customers. So if you're in the market and uh, you're looking for something inexpensive, we've got lots here. If you're from the US, uh, just about everything that we have, except for Kia and Hyundai, uh, can export to the US with no, uh, no extras. So hit me up. All my contact information is on my about page. And having said all that, guys, the Car Guy and Six Fan Show this week will be on Grant Tommy, who is Straight Six Fan. I will put his link right up here. And if you go over there, give him a subscribe and hit that bell notification. That way you get notified every time he uploads a new video and or when the Car Guy and Six Fan Show goes live. It's just a bunch of car guys talking cars and we have a lot of fun. So make sure you tune in. We've got guests that show up occasionally this week. It will be a guest on the show. And... Now would be a good time to tell you guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. To go down below, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. Again, you'll get notified when I go live on the Car Guy and Six Fan Show and every time I upload a new video. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.